So what I'm doing right now is just um, getting the table prepped to cut a sample, um, change the design a little bit so that this piece will sit a little higher in the front so the weight is in the back. I'm taping these holes up because I only need to cut that. Uh, this is a suction table so we can get precise cuts and the parts don't move. This is a nice four by eight so we can do four by eight sheets of uh, acrylic, polycarbonate, um, soft metals, or I should say non-ferrous metals, um, wood. So what we do is we put this gasket tape down so uh, when, we, when we suck the table down, it, it stays within there. Um, the, the vacuum stays within the gasket and sucks a piece down so that it does not move. Now I'm gonna adjust the design. Toolpath um, is what tells the CNC machine uh, the path to cut. So we start with the uh, geometry and then uh, the toolpath allows you to designate the type of tool, the thickness, the depth, uh, the speed of the cut, the feed at which it's uh, moving. So the speed and feed are um, dependent on the type of material we're cutting. So acrylic, you can go pretty fast. Uh, polycarbonate is um, a little different makeup of the material, so you have to adjust uh, based on the material that you're cutting. When you have your material and you're setting it down, you want to make sure there's no debris that would um, change, uh, I guess that would get in the way of the vacuum. So as long, if we have a good seal on the part, it shouldn't move if there's anything underneath um, that can allow it to slide or move while we're cutting, that's what we don't want. So you want to clean it really well and make sure there is uh, nothing in the way of the vacuum. So the advantage of having a CNC is that you get nice cuts instead of a, a saw, you get, um, you could get inconsistencies with the uh, edge. So with the CNC, you get nice uniform cuts, radiuses, um, and profiles that you wouldn't be able to get with a regular saw.